The Phoenicians were known for their trade in Tyrian or royal purple, a valuable dye made from the murex sea snail. However, the process of extracting the dye was difficult and labor-intensive. A Phoenician merchant named Zeno of Sidium, from Cyprus, lost his entire fortune when his ship carrying the dye sank in a storm and washed ashore near Athens. The sea, which had provided his wealth, had taken it away. When the shipwreck occurred, it was a huge setback for Zeno, both financially and emotionally. It would have been easy for him to give up and fall into despair. But he took this difficult event as an opportunity to create something great. Stoicism It's only after we've lost everything that we're free to do anything. Tyler Durden, Fight Club Stoicism is a philosophy that originated in ancient Greece around 300 BC. It was founded by the philosopher Zeno of Sidium, and was later developed by other famous philosophers such as Epictetus and Marcus Aurelius. The Stoics believe in living in accordance with reason and virtue, and in accepting one's fate with equanimity. They emphasize self-control and personal responsibility, and believe in the importance of living in the present moment. Do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. Marcus Aurelius Stoicism is about personal ethics and the goal of life is to live in accordance with nature, to live morally and to be virtuous. The universe is ruled by reason and everything that happens is a consequence of natural causes, so accept whatever happens and focus on how to act virtuously in every situation. Men are disturbed not by things, but by the view which they take of them. Epictetus The key to happiness is to be able to detach oneself from the things that are beyond our control and to focus on the things that are within our control. The universe is rational and the ultimate goal of life is to live in accordance with reason. This is achieved by living in accordance with self-control. Be indifferent to pleasure and pain, fame and oblivion, wealth and poverty. How ridiculous and how strange to be surprised at anything which happens in life. Marcus Aurelius One of the key principles of Stoicism is the acceptance of fate or amor fati. Everything that happens is a result of natural causes. We should accept whatever happens with equanimity. We should not waste time and energy trying to change things that are beyond our control. This acceptance of fate does not mean being passive or resigned, but rather taking a proactive approach to living a satisfying life. Our mind is the only thing that we truly have control over, and it is the only thing that can truly make us happy. We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more in imagination than in reality. Seneca The Stoics developed the concept of the inner citadel of the mind, which refers to the idea that our mind is a fortress that can be defended against the negative influences of external events. We should strive to maintain control over our thoughts and emotions, and we should remain detached from external events. By doing that, we can maintain our inner peace and tranquility, even in the face of adversity. The more we value things outside our control, the less control we have. Marcus Aurelius Rationality and logic are key in decision-making. So we should make decisions based on reason and not on emotions or impulses. The emotions such as anger, fear, and desire can cloud judgment and lead to negative actions. The mind should be guided by logic and we should strive to understand the nature of things. In this way, by making decisions based on reason, one can avoid the pitfalls of emotional decisions and the potential negative consequences that come with them. It never ceases to amaze me, we all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. Marcus Aurelius it is worth noting that the Stoicism do not teach to suppress emotions, but to understand them and to keep them in perspective, to not let them control one's actions. Apathia is a state of emotional equanimity, where one is not swayed by the negative emotions but still experiences and understands them. I judge you unfortunate because you have never lived through misfortune. You have passed through life without an opponent, no one can ever know what you are capable of, not even you. 
Seneca. The Stoics believe in the unity of all things and the idea that everything is connected. The universe is a rational and interconnected whole, and everything in the universe is connected and dependent on one another. By understanding the interconnectedness of all things, we can live in harmony with the universe and with others. Man conquers the world by conquering himself. Zeno of Sidium. The concept of the daimon or inner guiding spirit refers to the idea that each person has an inner guiding force that helps them navigate through life. The daimon is an inner voice that guides us towards virtue and wisdom, and it is our duty to listen to this inner voice and to follow its guidance. If a man knows not which port he sails, no wind is favorable. Seneca. Individuals should strive to live in the present moment, rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. The past and the future are beyond our control, and by focusing on them, we could become overwhelmed by anxiety or regret. Life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present, and fear the future. Seneca. We should anticipate and prepare for potential difficulties or challenges in advance, as a way of building resilience and inner strength. This practice is called premeditatio malorum, which can be translated as premeditation of adversity. By anticipating and preparing for potential difficulties, we could be better able to accept fate and be less likely to be overwhelmed by negative emotions. Sometimes in life we must fight not only without fear, but also without hope. Alessandro Pertini The Stoics place a strong emphasis on self-improvement and personal growth as an essential aspect of living a fulfilled life. We should strive to become the best version of ourselves, and this self-improvement is a lifelong process. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. Epictetus We should accept death as a natural part of life. Death is not something to be feared, but rather an integral part of the natural cycle of life. By accepting death as a natural part of life, we could let go of fear. This acceptance also leads to a heightened appreciation of life, making the most of the time we have. This is our big mistake, to think we look forward to death. Most of death is already gone. Whatever time has passed is owned by death. Seneca there has been a resurgence of interest in Stoicism in recent years, particularly in personal development. This interest in Stoicism is due to its practicality in addressing many of the challenges of modern life. Many people find that the Stoicism offers valuable techniques for coping with stress, uncertainty, and adversity. Its emphasis on self-control, rationality, and accepting fate has been seen as a valuable tool for achieving inner peace. While we wait for life, life passes. Seneca. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video please consider clicking the like button and subscribing to the channel.